We've got some Greek lamb for tea. We've got potatoes, carrots, olives, herbs, onion, garlic, of course, salt. And I'll just put the half of a roast lamb in there. And that should cook up in about six hours and be a beautiful meal for us. Hi guys, it's Lynn from Homestead Oz and I'll be just talking a little bit today about ill health on your property, whether you have a farm, a homestead, a little backyard. Uh, at the moment Wayne's got a bad back and he's had that for the last week, but it's just made me think a lot more about, uh, you know, the, the jobs he does all the time that he can't get to do and um, and how we're coping with that at the moment. So hopefully I can give you a few pointers and tips to help you because we've all been through situations in our life where we've had ill health, we haven't been able to do things and in the future that could happen again. Uh, number one I would say is prevention. Prevention is better than cure uh, but if we can't do that, if things come along our way that we're not well, well uh, an example of what I've been thinking that we have is we have a, a chook feeder that feeds our chooks for a week. We have uh, two big water containers up there that last them for quite a while, but I might extend that a little bit more. Uh, so they're fine to go if either of us were down. I usually do the chooks, um, Wayne will lock them up, but just little things like that. Uh, look at all your, your chores every day and how you use your back or your legs or you're your lifting things with your shoulders all the time. How you can change and adapt uh, to different ways of doing things uh, because it's so important. Uh, I know quite a few people have put videos out on disability on on homesteads and that's been really great. There's a few channels out there that are disabled that show you how they do things. But um, just something to think about in the future. Be prepared that there might be the odd few days or week or a month that you, you're you not well and how are you going to cope not doing those everyday chores? Uh, how are you going to cope financially too if it's long term? That's one of the main reasons why Wayne and I prep is we've always thought about, as farmers, uh, a rainy day situation. And uh, food is one thing that keeps your morale up. And so I've always stored a lot of food, preserved a lot of food, and uh, that's come in handy so many times in our, in our life. So yeah, just think about, uh, as you walk out that door in the morning, the jobs you do, and what if, is, is there ways around that you can do things differently if you weren't able to lift a bucket or if you weren't able to um, push that wheelbarrow or uh, yeah, ride that horse or whatever you want to do for the day. And uh, I think uh, morale, keeping your spirits up is the main thing to get well quick and Wayne's good at that. He, he has been doing a lot of research and and uh, keeping his mind on our goals because most of us who want to be self-sufficient uh, know that right now is the time to get a lot of our, our goals completed because uh, things are going to be turning a little bit worse I think in the world and I won't go there but you understand what I mean so yeah Fitness is a, a top priority for us all. We all need to get our bodies in tip-top shape and, and keep on doing what we're doing. So I will see you soon.